hello to all my awesome YouTube fans. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you care about what I'm doing today on a beautiful day today, we got a vintage unboxing for you today. It's basically a very old uh, kit for outside. It's actual a light uh, kit, basically. And yes, I did buy it at my local Goodwill, uh, basically. And I'm going to show you what this unit is. Basically, it's this little guy right here, should I say. It comes with everything in this box. By the way, this was built in 1997. I was very young back in the day. This is 21 years old, but not too bad. Basically, that's what it looks like. There's some more information about it. On the back. There it is. 97 right there, folks. And of course, some more different hold oil and stuff, too. Pretty interesting. But let's go and let's unbox this very vintage equipment, uh, should I say. You're gonna say, Chris, are you gonna use it? Mm, probably I am, but probably not outside. But maybe just inside or something like that. Maybe down in the garage or something, but it is made for outside. But I don't know how well this will hold up to the weather and stuff. But let's go and let's have some awesome fun, shall we? But you're gonna say, Chris, are you going to put this together anytime soon? Not really, not right now, uh, basically. I'm just going to just show you what it actually comes with and show you what's inside this old vintage uh, box, uh, basically. It's uh, pretty, very interesting stuff you can find at your local Goodwill. Let's go ahead and unbox this vintage piece of equipment, uh, should I say. Basically, that's what it kind of looks like on the inside be curious of the model there's the model right though if you want and of course here is the barcode if you want to scan that that's what you want to do but I don't think this company exists anymore and I don't think they make these anymore but basically, it's just very old uh, stuff here. Before I get into this, let's put that off to the side. Let's kind of look at the instructions here. And I like how they kind of give you a list of parts here, uh, basically, for it. Oh, it's pretty interesting. And yes, it's very simple to put together. It's not that complicated. Just follow your instructions. Of course, you're going to say, Chris, ah, you don't need instructions. That's true. You carry some what this piece is for. This is the light bulb seal, uh, should I say. It's basically nothing but paper. And of course, here's all your mounting hardware and everything else, uh, basically, if you need to put it together. Very nice. <coughs> there's the socket itself. Basically, with the hot and neutral and if you want you can also put a ground on it if you wanted to here's what the socket looks like and the max of this socket can go up to 150 watts of max bulbs uh, basically now how's that we'll take a look at this Basically, this is uh, aluminum stock, basically, and this is the bracket for this unit. Uh, basically, if you want to mount it to a wall or to your deck, you can actually do that with these two lovely holes here. And basically, the light sits up top of here and holds on. Uh, it's pretty cool how that was designed. And basically, here is the actual electrical box, I uh, should I say. And I think this is a very small gauge cable. This is 16 gauge. I don't know if you can kind of see it, but it's right there. But yes, it's a very short cable, not that long. 
means you're gonna have to use a extension cable for this. And this is actual cast aluminum. I'm not too bad. And basically, here's what it looks like on the inside of your electrical box. Of course, you notice these three uh, different wires here. We got your earth ground, we got your hot, your power, and you got your return, your neutral, uh, basically. And I thought that was pretty cool. And basically right here is actual the strain relief. Nice. And the last piece in this uh, box is the cast aluminum uh, steak, uh, should I say. And this is a half inch shredded uh, unit here. Well, this can actually shred into any box you want to use the steak for. And basically, you can just stake it on the ground. That's pretty cute. Now, I know some of you are going to say, Chris, it doesn't look that old, but it actually is. I actually did some research on this. Of course, it's how long the cable is. Not that long, but it's pretty long, basically. And I'm not going to use it outside. I don't trust it, but I do trust using it inside. It looks uh, pretty good. But basically, here's the other thing. It comes in the actual box itself. All the equipment and everything. Basically. So I thought that was kind of cool to kind of show you some very old vintage uh, lights uh, from back in the day. It's pretty cool. All right, to all my wonderful viewers who and fans who like to watch my videos about some electrical projects, let's go ahead and explain the cuddle codes of America electrical uh, stuff like that, and basically to show you how to be safe when you're monkeying around with stuff like this. The first thing you always hook up is the earth ground. That's the first cable you hook up. The second cable is the neutral. And the last cable is the black. It's very easy to connect these wires. White with white, black with black, and green with green. Now you're gonna say, Chris, it's no on green wire on this box and also on this light socket. That's true because basically how this actual works is you take the ground cable you attach it here with the grounding screw and that's how this whole thing gets grounded and you take these two leads and you match them with these two leads right here and it's very simple to hook one of these up and basically here is the cable itself it's okay it's pretty long but it's not long enough if you want this to be longer you have to add an extension cable or even put a long old cable on it if you choose, uh, should I say. But alright guys and girls, if you're brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment thing below. Please like, please share. Peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. And have a nice day. Stay safe when working on any electrical projects. Peace out. Catch you later.